Okay, so we've uh, we've picked up the camera again, and uh, we got Paul now. Say hi, Paul. It's Yo. Paul. Yeah, we did we did our three days in Osaka, which was amazing. And before I get too far ahead of myself tonight, we are heading to Daikoku, and uh, just seeing what's going on around Yokohama. <laughs> That poster became so, that race car in there. Are you gonna buy a buy a seat, Paul? You've come to the right place, pretty, I think. Pretty nice, actually. It, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah. Well, this well, how do you how did you choose? Because uh, I mean, I don't know how you how you pick a seat I mean, in a place like this. My this, fat ass only fits in this one. So. This is the only seat that Paul fits in. The fast was fat. Sorry. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that was that was ASM in uh, Yokohama here, and that was a super cool shop because uh, they're part of the Autobox family, and as you obviously could see from the footage, they build S2000s, and their claim to fame was a few years ago, they went to Sakuba for the first time ever and ran a 59.9 second lap, which really put them on the map as far as, like, time attack tuning shops go, because if, if anybody knows Japan and Japanese time attack culture, if you can run sub one minute at Sakuba, that's considered to be very, very fast. So to be able to just go there and on their first ever crack at it, do it, people were like, whoa, ASM knows how to build a fast S2000. And what was super cool is the owner actually came out and showed us a whole bunch of stuff, like some of his favorite trinkets, the fact that he built like a little model of the shop at the back, as well as uh, the fact that the poster S2000 on the wall behind the cash counter, which was his street car back in 2009, was actually the same car as like the wide-bodied like like uh, Japanese touring car style race car that they had in the shop. So that that was the trajectory of that car it went from his personal street car to being a full-blown race car. <laughs> I'm slowly becoming more and more of a Honda nerd again now that I have my beat, so going to a shop like that was super cool and I uh, picked up a couple couple stickers. I think, uh, I think this one will end up going on the beat. So yeah, no, ASM is super, super sweet. If you're in the uh, Yokohama area on a trip to Japan, you should definitely go check out their shop. It's small and humble, but they build some pretty unreal cars. kind of a bust right now. There's not that many cars around, but the good news is there's a convenience store here and now we have snacks. So we're gonna eat in the roomie for a few minutes 
and see if things improve. And if they do, I will film it. And if they don't, I won't film it. But in the wise words of Sandra Doega at the last time she was a Daikoku, sometimes when you gamble, you win. I think that's a that's a wrap I'm drenched now because it was pouring most of the time that we were here but as I'm sure you just saw from the video uh, it wasn't a bust I thought it might have been a bust because of the weather but uh, Daikoku prevails it never really seems to let us down anyways that's all for this segment of the video I think next time we're picking up the camera we're gonna be renting some uh, JDM cars ourselves and uh, taking them up a mountain so that should be pretty sweet and a nice way to kind of close out this trip to Japan all right, today's the day I've been looking forward to for pretty much the whole trip, and it actually is the last full day for us in Japan, which is sad, but uh, it's not that sad because of what I've got behind me here. And uh, yeah, once again, we've uh, we've gone to Amarin and rented some cars, and I picked this R32 GTR just because I thought it looked pretty cool. It had a bunch of aftermarket parts on it, carbon mirrors, carbon trunk lid, Advan wheels, um, cool interior set up with some bride seats, and... Uh, Nice steering wheel, cool Momo. I mean, obviously it is a rental car, so it is, uh, it's pretty rough if we're being honest. It's, it's got a lot of bumps and bruises around the edges, but uh, for the most part, I think this is gonna be a super fun car for us to drive. Sadly, um, yeah, sadly the weather hasn't cooperated a ton with us today, but uh, we got an all-wheel drive car. Paul's got this Evo all-wheel drive as well. And then we are gonna be going to Mount Haruna, which is, if you're a huge nerd like me, uh, that is the mountain that Akina from Initial D is based on and uh, obviously all those roads are pretty amazing and Kind of made for cars like this. So yeah, we're just at a, a loss and right now We're gonna snack up a little bit get some coffee in us because it's been an early morning and we have not had coffee yet But then we're gonna be heading out I think they like RX-7s.
Epic. It's cool. So much clutter. Buy an RC car, bro. It is tempting. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but. Lake Karuna now and we are just completely rained out. I don't know if you could tell from those last few clips, but like we are just completely drenched. So we found a nice little restaurant that has a great view of the lake, a great view of some uh, 90s golden era Japanese cars that we don't even want to drive right now in this weather because it's so rough. So we're just gonna eat some lunch and hopefully wait out all of this weather. It's not dry out, but it is raining a lot less now. So we're gonna go and check out one last cool spot here on Haruna and then uh, take these cars back to Omerin, which is actually quite a drive. It's like a two hour rip on the expressway. So yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll go show you one last cool spot and then um, drop these cars off. And that's probably gonna be it for this video or for this whole Japan series, so. I think that's a wrap. Uh, Haruna is beautiful. What an awesome place it is. I think uh, I'd love to come back here when it's not trenchly downpouring so I can actually enjoy the roads a little bit more, maybe film a bit more, but uh, that's just the way it goes. It is Japan in the rainy season and we kind of knew what we were getting into when we planned a trip to be here in July. And uh, there's no such thing as a bad time to be in Japan. And uh, this has been a terrific day, cool cars, amazing roads, and honestly like, the rain-soaked aesthetic is pretty sweet. So thank you guys so much for watching another series of me exploring around Japan. I know this one was a little bit different because uh, there was a lot less car stuff going on on this trip, but I still tried to get out there and film what I could, do the car things that I could on this trip, and hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride. Uh, make sure you check out our store. We've got lots of products happening. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the series. Um, I love Japan, I can't wait. Alex in Japan part three will happen eventually because uh, I can't get enough of Japan, so. Yeah, that's a wrap. I'm babbling. Anyways, boom.